confidence wise, how much did that win at South Florida do for your guys? I, I think what we learned was we can we can play bad on offense and still win if we guard. If we guard and we rebound and shoot twenty eight percent and win, you're doing some other things right. And I mean, I think that's a good lesson for them. Is that one of the better performances defensively you had this year, you think? That's the first time that we really, for an extended period of time, we were where we're supposed to be in help position. We made rotations. I mean, we made plays down the stretch because we were where we're supposed to be in help, and, and we made rotations. We haven't, there was always somebody standing staring at the ball and not making a rotation or not being in help. A game is a game is a game, but this is the Big East tournament. What, I mean, you've been around a long time, but is it still hold something when you get to this time of year? Well, I, I mean, I, I think playing in Madison Square Garden is a thrill for everybody. I know when I played, it was a thrill, you know, to go into the garden and the, the history uh, of the garden. And, uh, and this is, you know, this is our last time. This is our last time. I mean, we're going to play in New York, obviously, and we're going to try to play games in the garden. But uh, biggest tournaments, uh, there's not anything like it. I mean, you, there's, there's tournaments where a couple teams, you know, will have People, you know, like when when I was at Cincinnati, it was it was Cincinnati, Louisville, and Memphis, and the rest of the people you know, didn't bring a whole lot of people. And, but this is like it's, and they tell me that uh, Friday night's the hardest ticket in New York all year. I mean, of everything that goes on in New York, it's Friday night's the hardest ticket. So, I mean, there's just for something to captivate the city of New York like that, it's it's a special deal. You got a special Gordon memory? I mean, is there is there one or many? Mm. I know the first time I went in there, the Knicks were shooting, and uh, I, I'm standing there watching Bill Bradley. He never hit the rim. I mean, it was just <laughs> shot after shot after shot. Just never hit the rim. He just made everything, and that was you know that was the Busher and Frazier and those guys. They actually, we went out and they, they said, come on out. I mean, we're out, actually out there shooting balls with them, you know. And for, for a kid 19 years old that grew up around basketball, it was, it was phenomenal. You're going to miss it next year? I don't know. You know, you get, you get wrapped up in what you're doing, you know. So uh, Kansas City is a great venue because it's, it's so centrally located to people with such great fan bases. It, it's a little far for us, but. You know, when Kansas, Kansas State, Iowa State plays, they have they have great crowds. How do you prepare for Wednesday? Do you look at both teams and try to figure out this or that, or you just work on your own stuff? No, I mean, I think we got an idea who's going to win. Uh, we're going, you know, you prepare as best you can for for both teams, but um, I think probably you try to figure out that's what we've done in the past. Uh, you know, the Cincinnati game. Two years ago, we thought Louisville was going to win, and we spent a lot of time on Louisville. And then all of a sudden, at 11 o'clock at night, you're like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> we've got to change directions here." But you know, we've played everybody, and you play 31 games, you've seen just about everything. You know, so it's just a matter maybe of, of refreshing them. And some of them don't remember what happened yesterday anyway. So every day's a new day. Everybody preps, but is there an art to it? When you get into a tournament and turn it around, obviously time management, all those things are important when you, when you do these things. I don't know if there's an art to it. I think, you know, when you get in the NCAA tournament, you got to, it's a two-game tournament. You know, you got to, you got to play it as if it's a two-game tournament. And, and obviously, you don't win the first night, you're not going to play the second night. But you, you've got to, as best you can, try to prepare because you've got, you got one hour on the floor. And, you know, we always go somewhere else just to go through things. but. And that's a two-game tournament. This is harder. I mean, this is, this to me was, it was harder, I think, for us to, to win the Big East tournament than it was to, to win the first couple of rounds. Uh, actually, probably the first three rounds. Because, it, you know, in, in this league, there's so varied styles, you know, and, and, and personnel and, and everything else. So it's, I think it's easier. You know, I think somebody like Syracuse has an advantage because they play 2-3 zone. That's what they're going to do. Now, obviously, how people try to attack it are a little bit different. Personnel is a little bit different. But you're not going to see near what you see if you play man-to-man. -man. Plus, you know everybody so well. Everybody knows everybody so well. Well, we do, but I'm not sure they do. You know, our guys do. You know, that's the, <laughs> you know, 
know, when we had when we had those other guys, yeah, that was absolutely true. Mm -hmm. But now I'm not. You probably more convinced of that than I am, particularly after watching <laughs> practice today. <laughs> what have you seen from Connecticut? I mean, they seem healthy. They got their coach back. Are they how, how much different, or are they different than when you played them? I think everybody said at the beginning of the year the most talented team in the country. You know, when they when when Drummond decided not to go back to prep school and and, and when, I mean Lamps. Everybody says Lamps a lottery pick. Obviously, Drummond's a lottery pick. Oriaki's a pro. You know, people are telling me Napier can be a pro. You know, Roscoe Smith not didn't he starting now, but wasn't starting. I mean, he was he was like one of the last ones that didn't make McDonald's All American. Everybody thought he was. Well, I think when you look at their personnel, they've got terrific personnel. How much do you play in teams getting hot at this time of the year? Is how much of it just a product of who you're playing? I think style's got a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. You know, we we obviously play better against certain teams than you do other teams. I mean, you know, you have. You have some teams that doesn't attack zones very well because they can't shoot, you know. And and, and I think when you, but they're they're really good against man to man. So uh, style has a lot to do with it. Yeah. People seem to be talking a lot about Calhoun's return and the team rallying around him. Do you put much talk in those kind of things? I don't. I'm not there, so I don't. I don't have any idea. Just generally speaking, we. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it'd make a whole lot of difference if I had left and came back. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's. I mean, honestly, I think everybody at this time of the year kind of tries to rally around something, you know. Be it, be it, you know, winning games to get in the tournament or saving their year or whatever. Given what you said about UConn's talent, do you feel like you caught a break getting a first round by in this tournament, or do you, since some of those same things also moved UConn up to the nine line, do you feel like you didn't catch a break? Well, you know, if you win, it's a heck of a break. You know, I mean, we go lose to lose to somebody else, uh, probably drops us. You know, I think we're playing we're playing the two most talented teams the first two games, providing we won the first one. So, you know, that's an opportunity. I don't know if it's a break; it's an opportunity. An opportunity to improve your seating in the big oh, game. Absolutely. I mean, we go win two games the first two games. I mean, we're going to improve our seating dramatically. You think you're in, no matter what happens in New York? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. We've done everything they've asked to do. We've played, we've played more games against top 100 teams. We, uh, well, we've played 20, 21 now. 21 out of 31. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I forget what it is, top 50, but I think it's like maybe nine games against top 50 teams. Nobody's played as many top 100 games as we have. <laughs>